realized that this sport is super dangerous. Hey, does somebody have eyes on Robin? I kind of learned it the hard way. Hey, buddy. Oh, what's How's up, Eric? How you doing, man? Good, man. We just got back from sledding today. There's like two feet of fresh snow up there. Nice, man. Yeah, you, are you heading out here pretty soon? Yeah, just been working on the van all day. We really didn't get to do much this summer together. I had a couple more things I was hoping to do, but I'm heading out in a couple days, so. Well, you think we uh, do something? Some climbing, maybe some flying. Oh, we just got that tandem bike. Oh, dude, we <laughs> definitely got to take that out. I say we squeeze as much as we can in one day. All right. One big day. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh. yeah. All right, that sounds like a plan. We had to do this because I knew Robin was leaving on this trip and I wanted to share something before he left. I'm building out my van right now and heading out to surf along the coast, climb in the deserts and ski in the Rockies. Robin is an incredible human being, you know, starting his own arborist business. He's traveled around the world, climbed everywhere. He's just a very inspirational person. We'll, we'll be doing just fine. <laughs> I guess I kind of had a different path than most. I climbed my first mountain when I was 12 with my godfather. That experience was like super hard for me. Totally unprepared, just about froze everything. It was the coldest I had been up to that point. And I just remember looking over at him and the entire time he was just smiling. He's like, yeah, we're having fun. Like, <laughs> you know, this is what fun is like. I took sitting with it a couple days after that experience and realizing we made it up there and the view was incredible. That was a really cool experience. It did change my life. A couple years ago, he wanted to climb Aconcagua with me. Which is the highest peak outside of the Himalayas. He's like, hey man, you gotta come climb this with me. This is the one peak that I've wanted to climb. So I trained for it. He got diagnosed with leukemia. And so he wasn't able to climb. So I went alone. It was a big experience because that was the coldest I've ever been and that's the highest I've ever been and that's one of the toughest things I've ever done in my life. And um, he wasn't there this time to, to tell me how much fun we were having, but I still had a lot of fun. And when I came back, I got to show him a video that I took on the summit four days before he passed away. And I got to share that moment with him. From then on, I took his stoke with me into every climb that I did. We got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, wake up on the boat. We could paddle out in the water. We'll bike up, chucking it, launch off Blanchard. Then... You guys talking about your big day? Yeah, dude. You guys realize we only have eight hours of daylight tomorrow, right? Um... <laughs> That's probably going to be the pain point, is figuring out what your flight window is. Then we can work backwards and forwards on the plan from there. Well, let's see. Blanchard's looking pretty good just in the morning. If we could hit it at like 8 or 9, head on over to Erie for some rock climbing. What else could we fit in? We should get the tandem bike in there. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys are driving crazy. What do we have now? What do we have? We have bikes at sunrise. Yeah. Then you guys are going to go fly. Yeah. And then you guys are going to go climb. Yeah. And then jump off cliffs. Oh, my goodness. That's just Do about a little, full like, day. Beach fire or something. Yeah. Beach fire by sunset. This might, this might work. Zach, couldn't have done it without you. You're welcome. <laughs> For crushing your dreams. <laughs> They're squishing them down at least. <laughs> Pack the gear, get it all ready for tomorrow. All right. We got work to do. Let's go. Let's... <laughs> <laughs>
to do here. We're gonna climb up the mountain tomorrow. We're gonna fly the mountain tomorrow. Hey, brother. Yeah, brother. How you feeling this morning? Good. You ready to do this? Oh, yeah, what are conditions looking like? Uh, a little interesting in the morning for flying, but, you know, we'll still get up there and uh, scope it out and make the best of it. Yeah, it looks like it's 7, 13 out of the northwest. Probably going to switch to due north, I don't know, midday. Yeah, Could take off at least. Eight or nine, pretty much as, as soon as we can. That'd be the best because if we drag it on too late in the day, we're going to be hitting 30 mile an hour gusts. I thought they called you Rotor Robin. Rotor Robin. <laughs> I definitely expect us to run into some challenges with this big day. You can have like the greatest days and then you can have like the most terrifying days. It can definitely go, go wrong very quickly. Locked and loaded, got the bike, we got the wings. I think we're all set, we got all our stuff. Let's go time. All right. Let's do it. Lock and load. Two men, one bike. Here we go. Woo! Do these brakes work? <laughs> <laughs> Just barely. We also had in mind that, you know, Robin's recovering from this injury. Hey, does anybody got eyes on Robin? I think I just saw him crash pretty hard on the sled. And it looks like he's hurt. One day, we decided to bring the sleds up to Schreiber Meadows. We started like hitting these jumps. One in particular, I just gave it everything I possibly could, like full throttle. I landed on, on flat ground, and so the snowmobile took most of the force, but then my knees just smashed into the front of the snowmobile. I had torn both ACLs and my MCL on my right knee and a, a chip fracture on my tibia. That was it. It was over. All right, Robin, let's go, man. Can't let this injury hold you back, bro. We're gonna conquer it. I didn't want to do surgery. That was suggested. I wanted to rehab and strengthen my knees by myself. And it's the first time we've worked up to 225 in a while since before the injury. Yeah. So I'm stoked to see how we do here. We can always lower it if we're not feeling that strength or that stability. Push it. Six, use those legs. Keep rolling, keep, come on, come on. A few more reps. Who else is working this hard, Rob? Nobody, nobody. Stop, Rob, push it. We gotta give you back some new work. Should we go? Yeah. It's a blaster, dude. Go, 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 go. Blast, blast, blast. <laughs> Barely see back here. We're having fun. Just remember that. Woo. Oh baby! Keep her steady. We're going the speed limit. Woo. I think it's time to switch, bud. Let me get up front. Let's pull over. All right. Let me get a taste. All yours. Let me get a taste of the first class riding here. <laughs> See what you mean, man. <laughs> How many miles do you think we got from here to uh, the trailhead? I don't know, we're, like, we're just about there. <laughs> yeah, Eric, you gotta shift down. <laughs> I know, I'm trying. <laughs> there we go. Hey, let's then get some nice speed wobbles. <laughs> Look at it is. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Are you going flying too, bud? Yeah, oh man, I'm glad you made it, man. Yeah. I wouldn't miss it, let's do this. You guys ready? Go. Dude, is this your first flight out Blanchard? Oh yeah, how's the wind looking? Uh, it's looking pretty good. Oh, a lot calmer than we were expecting. But. Great. Yeah. Let's get up there and uh, send you off. We got about another 20 minutes. We're gonna get sent on a little spin cycle if we don't get up there quick. Oh, I think I just got a text from. Oh, it's Dale, dude. He's up there right now. Oh. Hurry, it started snowing. What? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, Snow globe. We'll see what that's about. Yeah, better hurry up. Uh oh, there's that hill he was talking about. Whew. Hopefully it stops before we get up there. It just, I mean, the winds are good right now, so. 
All right. Let's hope for a change in the weather then a little bit. All right. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh, man. The rain's coming that way. If oh, we... Blaine, let's go, dude. Ah! <laughs> Here we go. We're getting a... Uh, We're coming this way. So I'm going to turn back and hit the wind. No, it'll be heading straight into the west. The way that oh, this... Oh, perpendicular to the road. We're up here. There's trucking at. There's a power line that runs along this road, so oh. just be aware of that. Yeah. And if you're not making enough altitude to make it to the house, like you can just land anywhere in the field. And let's get out before these rain clouds come and get us. Pretty much everybody in our friend group is in the process of learning how to fly or is currently flying. One of my favorite things to do is helping people that I love get that feeling of flight. My goal for you today is just to like, be able to inflate the wing above your head. It's so cool. It's kind of like reliving that experience of flying for the first time. You don't get that feeling again. All right, you ready, Holly? Yeah. All right, run. <laughs> go, go, go. Release. Nice, nice. Keep running, nice, keep running. Break on this side. Break, run, run, run. Break a little bit, a little bit. Keep running, run hard, hard. Oh yeah, and bring it down, both, both breaks. That was awesome. Dude, double hot. Well, we got some rain right now. It's not, definitely not ideal. Uh, winds are still pretty quiet. Uh, you don't really want to launch in the rain. Your glider gets heavy. The winds kind of get funky. I could go right now, but then it's, it's up to them if they have to make their own call for their safety, so. Eric, I'd hold off, man. Yeah. It's not worth it right now. Weather moves quickly here, so. Such is life. Just gotta go with the flow. It's never smart to make decisions on last minute calls. You go wait in the van? Yeah. Well, shoot, boys, what do you want to do? We got a bit of rain, but you know, it might go. And wait it out? Try to get out for it? Yeah, that's, that's your call, man. You I know, think for like, my first time, I might wait for better conditions. Yeah. No problem, buddy. All good, man. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Right. Oh, buddy. I think we got, a, our window. we got a window here. We better take it while we can. Round two. I'd say we try and launch it from the south, Robin. Oh, yeah, that's looking all right. All right, buddy, you, you just about ready? Yeah, I'm good to go. All right. Three, two, one. I guess there's types of flying dreams that people have. Mine, very specifically, was hovering next to a hillside, floating. The closest you can get to that is paragliding. This is like you literally doing something that you've dreamed about. There's no engine noise. You're up there with eagles. You kind of forget about everything else that's going on in your life. You're so focused in this one moment. For me, at least, it makes me feel the most alive. Ow! Ooh, we did what it! What are you talking about? How you feeling, Robin? Oh, man, I don't know. I'm like, knees are aching a bit, but... You think you're gonna make it the rest of the day? Uh, yeah. We'll just have to see. Still got a full day ahead of us, so I hope he's gonna be able to make it the rest of the day. Dude, you 
realize this is our first outdoor climb together? <laughs> Dude. This is the real deal. So uh, while we're up there, if you have any problems with your knee, let me know. Um, just give me a holler down and I'll climb up there and uh, I'll belay you down. All right, you're on belay. Climb belay. on that Belay on. Is that what they say these days? You say climbing, I say climb on. Okay. <laughs> climbing. Climb on. How many were? How you doing up there, Robin? Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. I don't know, man. If we go up the wrong route, what's the worst case? Huh. I'm heading up the route and I'm trying to link a couple pitches together. It's like, uh-oh, this is not the right way. If you do get off route, you're climbing something way more technical. If you are not finding the spots where you're clipping in, you could be stretching the line to where you're taking a massive swing. I'm gonna down climb. Well, you do whatever you're comfortable with. Climbing. All right, climb on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now you're moving. Yep, we're good now. You. Once I heard him hollering from the top, I was like, all right, we're gonna do it, we're finishing it. Man, I miss climbing. Well, how can you miss it if you're doing it? Just a little bit here. Yeah, man. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. We got lost. We got sauced. Man. We got the boss man right here taking the lead. Look at that view, though. Oh, man. Turned out to be a good day. How's the knee doing? Uh, well. I wasn't sure if she was going to hold up today. They're definitely hurting, but they're holding me up, so. You pushed through. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't stop after paragliding, man. Yeah. Well, it's the everything day, so I think there's one more thing we gotta do, isn't there? I think we got a cliff jump, Eric. All right, let's do it. Let's get the heck out of let's here. Let's do it. It's great if you can climb hard stuff. It's awesome if you can stay in the air for hours and cross large distances, but I'm about having a lot of fun while you're doing it. That's a huge part of doing these things is being able to share them with your friends, seizing the day when you can. You know, the memories will always be there with you. Let's do it. Three, two, one. the competitive side of extreme sports, but there's also the people that go and do things just for the passion of it. Hey! Hey guys! Hey. Oh, you made it! You made it! Oh, How was it? How was your day? Oh, get over it. <laughs> there you guys. <laughs> it, it always seems like when we have a big day planned, you know, it inspires other people to come out. Chilly! <laughs> and the wind picked up too. Yeah. Robin did the window roller. What's that? Oh, that's a good one. Oh. <laughs> it's always tough when the person that you go and do all these things with is going in another direction. It's not really the lifestyle that 
people think of when they think of success. It's spontaneous and unpredictable. I don't exactly know what I'm working towards. Ultimately, it's what I love doing. I wouldn't be myself if I didn't climb and ski and fly. So I need to fly.